my makeshift sticking table for sticking cuttings. This is my machine itself, just jury rigged from whatever I could find. I see, uh, I think it just cycled off, but at any rate, there's my uh, mason jar housing for the electronics so it doesn't get wet and weather tight. My uh, hose for the supply. There's the valve set up with a strainer. I'm going to put a, a misting filter on it a little later. I want to get the water supply stable first. And the water solenoid sprinkler valve. That's an Orbitz or Orbit or whatever. You can get any number of different brands. Let me pause it while I open it up and show you the inside. As you can see, I just kind of made an opening there. I had painted up with uh, those little plastic pins. There's my mechanism. You can see it's in the off condition. It's overbalanced, so the, uh, the uh, stainless steel mesh is in the descended position from the water vapor. The mist. There's some cuttings that I put in. Some uh, pomegranate, uh, some uh, unknown bush in the front here. And uh, all the random blackberry and um, I have some desert willow over there, catalpa it's known as. Um, there's a little fig, a little fig cutting of, from my fig tree. It looks like it's surviving. It's been in about a week. There's my uh, mister set up with risers. And uh, let me take this cover off, show you a better view of inside here my little counterbalanced counterbalanced beam and uh, turns on the misters you see there's a magnetic switch down inside it's a hall effect device with a little op amp and there it goes turns off the mister and it just repeats that cycle all day and of course the heat builds up even though it's uh, covered with shade fabric the heat builds up and it cycles the water you see my cuttings there are drooping but hopefully they'll, they'll I just stuck them a while ago so hopefully they'll be better in a little bit and that's my cloning machine <laughs>